This is my cat. Say hi. Day wanted to say hello before I start my video. Baby. There we go. He's off to play with his toy my sniper. Yeah. So welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you what I keep in my makeup bag. So I take this with me every day wherever I'm going and yeah, I hope you enjoy. So first of all, I thought I'd show you my actual makeup bag and it is this one from Rimmel. Now this one actually came free with, I think when you bought three products or something from Rimmel, you would get a free makeup bag. And I thought this was actually a really nice free gift. They actually do really nice free gifts generally. They, they once gave out those nice kind of fluffy key rings that people are always wearing on their bags. So yeah, really nice gifts from us, so keep them coming. But yeah, I love the colour of this. I love rose gold, so this is just really, really lovely. And a good size for your handbag as well. First thing I'm going to start with is what I wear underneath my foundation to give it a nice glow and to have a nice base for the foundation to be applied to. And this one is from Simple. And it is the Illuminating Radiance Cream light reflecting and it's SPF 15. So it, it, it does give a nice glow to your skin underneath and it does come through with the foundation in a beautiful natural way. Um, now onto foundation, now you'll see most of my makeup is from Rimmel. Now I find Rimmel very, very good and very affordable for, for anybody. So I don't always buy Rimmel, but I mostly do. So a lot of the products are from them today. But the first thing is foundation, and this is in number 100, which is ivory. Now, they do porcelain as well, which is, I think, a shade lighter than this. But porcelain is a bit too light for me. It makes, just doesn't do anything for, for my skin. So ivory is very good for my pale skin at the moment. I've tried other foundations in different brands, which are light, but they just, they're almost still too dark, even if it is their lightest colour, I just look a bit ridiculous. So this one has been very good for years for my skin. Um, next again is from Rimmel and this is the Wake Me Up Anti-Fatigue Effect and Radiant Glow Concealer. So this is it. Now I've used this for probably three, four years and it is very good. I haven't seen one that's lighter than ivory, so my foundation and my concealer are both ivory. And I know concealer should be, well, basically slightly lighter, especially if you're going to put it underneath your eyes to cover up those dark circles. And I haven't found one that is lighter, unfortunately. I don't think they do this one in porcelain. I could be wrong, so if you know that they do this in porcelain, please comment below and let me know. But yeah, this is okay so far, um, but I would like to get one in a slightly lighter shade for under my eyes. Uh, on to face powder. So this one is from Rimmel and it's a clear complexion and it's the color 21 transparent. So it doesn't give you extra color, but it gives you um, a nice coverage so your foundation can set and your skin won't look too oily or just, you know. But yeah, this has worked really well for me so far and it's, it doesn't leave my skin dry, which a lot of powders tend to do. So this one, very good. And then on to my bronzer. This is from L'Oreal. And it is Glam Bronze in the color Blonde Sun. So again, a very nice color. It's a nice shade. It's not too dark, not too light, especially for pale skin. So yeah, I do really like this one. I've tried other bronzers from, again, um, other brands and it can be very tricky to get one for pale skin but this one's been good for me so far. Um, eyebrows. This is my favourite eyebrow kit I've had and I need to get a new one because it is almost out but this is Brow Parlor from W7 and it's the complete eyebrow grooming kit. So mine's is really messy so I'm not going to show you it because it's almost finished. But it comes with two nice brown shades which is really good so sometimes I want darker eyebrows or lighter eyebrows it just depends. Comes with a brush to brush your eyebrows, the applicator itself and some tweezers. It also comes with a, sh um, a setting gel and highlight underneath eyebrows but I don't use those because well for starters they do get covered in the powder that's in here already and 
I use something else for highlight and things like that. So I don't use the, the gel or the highlight. But the colors itself are really good and it does stay all day. Um, on to eyes. So I have worn eyeliner for years and years. I just like the effect that it gives for very well pale skin and light um, eyelashes. So I like to have dark eyes. So first thing I use is my gel eyeliner and this one is again from Rimmel and it's number one in black. It comes with a brush, which I don't use because on experience with, on experience with using it before, the brush is a mess once you've used it once and it takes a long time to actually wash it off and you get your hands covered in it and it's not easy to wash off your hands. So all I do is I use my coal liner from Rimmel and I actually dip it into the gel and then I apply it wherever I want it to go basically. So this is actually much easier than using the brush. So that is my gel liner. Next, I use my liquid eyeliner, Rimmel's Glam Eyes in the color Black Glamour, number one. And yeah, very good. I love the applicator in this one because it's a really thin applicator. So you can be very precise with how you want your Line, liner to go, or if you want to have a wing, which I tend to always have wings. That's really good. They do another one where the brush is, it, it's stiffer and thicker, and that just does not work for me. And I want a brush that can glide along whatever way I want it to go, basically. So this one is my best one so far. For eyelashes, I use, well, I got this one for Christmas, actually, and it's been very good so far. It's Rimmel's Scandal Eyes Retro Glam. And I love the brush in it. I haven't seen a brush like this before. So this is it. Let's get the excess off. So it's a really nice kind of curved shape with a dip in the middle. And I know that your eyelashes will look good depending on whatever brush you use. Sometimes the comb ones, they're okay I think for, for smaller lashes but I've got quite long lashes and I need a brush that's kind of in the middle between thick and thin. So this one has been really good so far and this one is again number one in black. So these are the two things I use for my lips. This one is number seven and it's the High Shine Lip Crayon and don't think it has a colour name as such. I can't seem to find it. But yeah. Nope got no colour but this is it. Beautiful colour and then luckily enough um, I got some lip glosses from Sub and Glory and this one pretty much match matches it perfectly. So this is a nice colour and this gives a beautiful shine to it as well so these have been a perfect match which is excellent. So that's generally the things I have in my makeup bag every day along with these brushes face brush, powder brush, and this is just a contouring bronzer brush. I don't wear blusher because no matter what shade I have bought, thinking it's going to be perfect, I end up looking like a clown. Even if I just put a tiny bit on, I look a bit ridiculous, so I don't wear blusher, just a bronzer. Um, on top of having the general makeup things in the bag, there are two extra things I like to keep in there. Compact mirror doing little touch-ups and fixing any mishaps if it's raining or anything like that and also I couldn't recommend these enough cotton buds so easily you can get makeup on your eyelid right in the corner of your eye and these are just lifesavers to get those off really quickly trying to do it with your finger is impossible without trying without basically ruining your makeup so I would always have a handful of these in my makeup bag as well. And they're so cheap, you get a whole box of them for like 50 pence, so you should get these. But yeah, that is pretty much what is in my makeup bag every single day. It is the makeup look I would use for a simple um, look. If you would like to see my kind of vast makeup collection, then just comment below and I will get that film for you as soon as possible. Um, I've got my makeup not really a station at the moment because I've just moved in so I'm trying to get a nice kind of makeup area in my bedroom 
hopefully that will be done within the next couple of months fingers crossed but yeah um, I hope you did enjoy this quick little video of what's in my makeup bag please feel free to comment below and if you haven't already please do subscribe and please give this video a thumbs up bye